What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna and I'm a soon-to-be physician assistant student. So today's video is quite different, but I'm just going to be talking about how I study best for my undergraduate courses. So the first thing that I do is quickly remove everything off my desk, including my phone. I throw it across the room because I don't want any distractions. I'm going to be coloring Netter's Anatomy book. It's very detailed and I really enjoyed coloring it and I'm going to be using Crayola colored pencils to do the coloring. But back to my studying, it really depends on which courses I'm taking. So if I'm taking anatomy and physiology or genetics that require me to visually see the material, then I will supplement the reading material with videos and drawing out the structures or processes. I find that using pen and paper really helps me to learn and retain the study material material better and additionally if I have time I will make index cards and go through them but for the most part again I will just draw whatever system I'm going over For my more lecture heavy courses such as pathophysiology and human disorders, I will read the chapters that are given to us that week and go through the objectives. I almost always type out my notes for those courses just because it is a lot of reading material that we go through and if I were to write that all down by hand, my hand would be literally broken but if I'm typing my notes I go much quicker and faster through them. And while I'm writing my notes, I'm making sure that I'm hitting every single objective point. Before a test or a quiz, I will print out my notes and highlight what I think is most important, or I will write out my notes just because it helps me retain the information and when I say I write on my notes I don't go word for word I just again hit the bullet points that I think were most important if I'm struggling with a topic I will always watch a video over it and a pro tip is because I know these videos sometimes are 20 to 30 even 40 minutes long I go to the video settings and adjust the speed of the video from 1.5 to 2 times faster that way I can watch many videos in the time frame that it would have taken me to just watch one My general tips are to have a study schedule, set time aside to study instead of watching the Netflix series I know you're totally watching right now, set time aside to study, I know you have to be disciplined to do this, but if you're going into medicine, you want to make sure that you're really learning the material. Secondly, know when you study best. I am a total night owl, so I study best at night when I have no distractions and when everyone's asleep. But if you study better in the morning, then wake up and make sure you are allotting time for that after your breakfast. There are many ways to study, so if you learn better by watching videos, then make sure the videos align with what you're learning. And if you enjoy reading your textbook, then do that. I know not all of us are really good at reading and we kind of struggle with trying to go through the reading material quickly, but when you practice, aka reading your book, you will become quicker at reading and that is where you will learn the most information. So even if you're not really good at reading the book, make sure that you are trying to at least improve your reading skills.
if you're studying one way but you're not scoring the way that you want to then evaluate if you're being distracted by something or if you need to put in more time i find myself being distracted when i study in big groups so i usually will just study by myself and then go over questions with a group of about two to three friends but again if i find myself that i'm not studying effectively i will just pack up my bags and study at home which is totally okay to do There is no secret magic when it comes to studying other than putting in the time and putting away your distractions. Always try to learn the material and don't memorize things. If you're going into medicine, like I said earlier, you will use the basic knowledge every day that you have learned from your undergrad to understand more in-depth processes and I know your future you will be totally grateful and thankful for the work that you put in to learn medicine right now. I hope you all have the most wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below what you would like to see next. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next Sunday. Bye!